guys, um, this is Stuart and yeah, I'm going to make a video today on showing you guys how I use my new presets I made on Lightroom and how I edit with them. I'm selling them through filter grade and yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because like I just think it's a cool way to showcase your work and also give other photographers the chance to learn, you know, how to use presets before they go and buy them. I think it's really easy to just go and buy presets that look nice on filter grade or wherever you buy presets because it's like oh it looks good in that photo and then you go to Lightroom after a shoot and it's just like nothing's working everything looks like crap so I'm just going to show you guys how I shoot where I shoot what time of day I shoot and show you how I use my presets as well um, so let's get Lightroom open Lightroom has been super slow for me today so hopefully it works for this video um, the first preset I'm going to show you guys is called Anna. Um, Anna is like perfect for harsh lighting and it just really brings out skin tones. Right now it looks like crap, um, so I'm just going to up the exposure a tiny bit. Just do it right there. And then bring up my highlights a tiny bit. And yeah, it really gives you just kind of a damaged film look, but it's perfect in harsh lighting. Like this was super direct, as you can see. The sun was right on her and I exposed it just you know a perfect exposure it wasn't overexposed or underexposed and I usually shoot around like 3 p.m. when I'm doing my harsh lighting stuff just because like you know around noon the sun's too overhead and then around sunset you're gonna be getting like a lifestyle type vibe so I think 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. is like the perfect harsh lighting scenario for me and for this preset so uh, the, the thing I really like about it though is you get really pasty skin tones and you can see like that was a very normal direct lighting shot. I didn't do anything special and I just applied the preset and upped the exposure a little bit and I got a really sick like vintage looking image. And it also, I really want to show you guys in this pic how it works with the greens and blues and how it edits color. Um, so I'll drop the exposure a little bit this time. Um, here we go. And yeah, you can just really see like the greens are very muted and it's a really pretty hue. Wow, that does not look good. <laughs> uh, from far away, it looks nice. Uh, there, it's just a really nice color of green and the same with the blue. I really like the hue and you can see, uh, where's my HSL? What it does with the blues and the greens um, really brought down the saturation on them. So yeah, that'll be the same. I'm just going to show you, you can batch edit with these two. So I'm going to throw that preset on these four photos right here. And we'll see how that looks. Yeah, so literally not even going to step in and edit these, just showing you how well they go on. This is one of my favorite photos, literally just preset straight on. Uh, another thing I did with these to give it a more like damaged film look is I brought the lens vignette. I don't use the post crop vignette. I like to use the lens correction vignette and it just like makes a difference. Also I have a really crappy lens so if I don't have that I get those rings around my photo the vignette. Um, and so just bringing that up, I, I even sometimes bring it up more and just have like a white small white vignette and it just kind of looks a lot more um, I guess film 90s type look and yeah once again going back to that the pasty skin tones are insane I actually put Vaseline on um, this model's face to give it a more like oily look and just there's no makeup in it in the shoot and uh, our makeup artist actually canceled on this one but yeah like you see that the, the, the skin tones right here are just like incredible on this preset really like this um, same here. Here I am in this photo in the bottom left corner. Really solid move on my part. Um, but, you know, once again, seeing how it edits the greens, the blues, before and after here, super pretty. And, yeah, this next preset I'm stoked about because it's a studio preset and it works really well and it's, like, one of my favorite presets, too. I, I like all of these, so, yeah. Uh, this one's called Emma and... I always usually have to come in and just throw up the exposure a bit and then I love boosting the whites on it up to like right here. And I'm just going to copy that probably. So I'm copying Emma and then 
all I did was move the exposure and highlights and just paste it there. So this is all flash work as well. And I'm using just a built-in flash on the camera. I didn't use any external gear for this. Um, not because I wanted to like make it easier for you guys, mainly because I'm poor and I haven't bought a flash, but I mean, this is working for me, so it gets the job done. My computer's starting to really get slow right now. So yeah, throwing Emma on there again. You can see, just bring the exposure down a tiny bit. And I love how the skin tones turn out with this. Like The color of the, her lips and skin in this are really nice. I'll do a before and after right there. Super clean. The same thing, I'll put it on here. Just bring the exposure down. So yeah, another like portrait type preset if you were to shoot portrait 400 in the studio at like 160 ISO, hopefully this is exactly what you would get. Um, yeah, I feel like I did a pretty good job on that. So this preset is called Marionelle. This is one of my best friends, and we shoot all the time whenever I'm in Houston. Um, this is like a super low contrast preset that's perfect for like, once again, another film look. But it, uh, it's almost like, it, it, I mean, once again, Portrait 400. Everyone's obsessed with it. I feel like this is a good imitation of it. Same thing with the pasty skin tones. Just really low contrast drop the clarity too. You don't see that that often now. Um, I really don't do that in a lot of my presets, but I love the way it looks for this because if you bring the contrast back up, it it just looks very harsh. And if you bring it down, it just gives a whole new vibe to the photo. It's a lot more, uh, I don't want to say this word, but it's a lot more chic. And that might just be, uh, be because she's wearing a pink sweater, but you can just tell like it's just very cloudy and um, pasty. And I guess those are good words to describe it. Um, I'll use it one more time. I want to make this video somewhat short. So, boom, no editing involved in this. This is once again direct sunlight. Oh, I guess I do need to edit a little bit. I'm going to bring the exposure down a tad. Um, and then a lot of times I'll just bring down the exposure a little too much like that and then throw up the whites even more. And you can just get a cool film look as well with that. Uh, this next preset is a little more of a lifestyle preset more than anything and I'll show you guys why it's it's less high fashion just because it's very like high contrast in the the crushed highlights you can see over here I brought these down to uh, just give you that faded look in the back and I like to shoot with this at a higher aperture I know everyone loves to shoot at like 1.8 but when you you know shoot at like I usually shoot like f5.6 to f8 whenever I'm working with this preset and you can see your whole background and it just gives you a, a lot of noise in the background that doesn't necessarily take away from the subject either just because of you know where I have this middle point right here in terms of lighting the subject and um, on my tone curve and bringing the whites up too can help that but it just really fits the preset well and um, yeah I'm kind of ranting on about it but this was shot, as you can see, terrible lighting, like half shade in the bow, and then it was bright outside. We were on a yacht when we shot this, and literally just threw that preset on, and boom, the skin tones are perfectly highlighted, and the crushed highlights look really cool. But yeah, once again, you can tell this is a lifestyle type preset. I mean, like, it's very harsh, but it looks cool. Um, and the next one is Kelly. This one is perfect for high fashion as well, but it works, it's very versatile. It's probably the most versatile preset on here because I can use it in literally any scenario and it's gonna be mount, like, you can mess with it a little bit to fit the, the photo. So just starting off, um, we have a lot of shadow here. So I'm gonna bring up the shadows a little bit more on this preset. And you see the face starts lighting up, um, or the subject, sorry. And I'm gonna brush tool this and change that to, Dodge. Yes. Um, I'm going to bring up the shadows in it. And then I'm going to bring up the clarity just a tad. And then I'm going to sharpen as well. I might even bring the exposure up a tiny bit more. Nope, that's a little too much. It's a little bit noticeable. And now it looks like I had proper studio lighting in this situation. 
and it doesn't look too um, forced either. So this preset, you can you, know, you see the skin tones here, very like whitewashed and pale, which I really like, and it's perfect for you know shooting at sunset or in the middle of the day. Works really well. Um, I'm gonna use that on another one here. Oh, oops, wrong one, Kelly. Boom. So yeah, so far we've used Kelsey over here on this one. Um, we've used Mary Nell in these three over here. We've used Emma, we've used Anna, and we've used, yeah, we've used Kelly, okay. And the next one is Olivia. This preset is another kind of a damaged look with a bit of a purple tint to it. Um, I don't use this one as much, but I like it a lot in studio, and then I really liked it on this harsh lighting one. I used flash for this picture, so, the model was kind of like really shaded because the sun was coming down right through here on top of her. And so I, let's see my settings. 1 250th, yeah, at f8, um, ISO 250, and I just shot with a built in flash. And you can't even tell really. I mean, if you're more experienced, you could probably see that like this, this really, it's a back or like top lit photo, and this should be more shaded. But I did use flash on it, and then I threw a studio preset on it. Olivia is more of a studio preset, but it did work in this scenario. I really like the turnout. And then, um, I mean, once again, any of these presets will work well on it. I really like Kelly on it as well. Kelly's the more versatile preset. And, um, I mean, you just see how soft the skin tones are here. This is so, so smooth. And, yeah, the next one is Amanda. And I think this is, yeah, Amanda's the last one. So this is, once again, more of a whitewash preset. Um, I'm going to always bring up the temperature with this one just a tiny bit, just to bring some life back to these skin tones. I actually might come in and add a little bit more um, saturation to her skin with the oranges. Or I could just pull this right here. And there we go. So yeah, very similar to Kelly, but a little bit more whitewash. It's almost like a mix of Kelly and Olivia. Um, this preset I don't use as much, but I, when I do, I use it for harsh lighting a lot of the time. Um, this was during a cloudy day too, and I'll show you what Kelly looks like on here. I'll just bring it up a little bit, uh, the exposure up, sorry, and then bring the whites up, add a little bit of contrast, a lot of contrast. <laughs> And yeah, I really like that look on there. And then also I could use Amanda on here and just bring up the temperature a little bit. Actually, you know what? I don't think Amanda looks good on this one. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use Anna one more time just to show you guys like how it affects colors. So um love the skin tones that you get with Anna and harsh lighting the color the the hue of the greens is just like insane it's such a pretty dark green and um, yeah so sorry if this tutorial was me just like saying a bunch of nonsense about colors and stuff but um, just making these over the past year I've really been into mimicking film and um, yeah trying different kinds of lighting different techniques of using flash while shooting and I mean, as you can see, all of these are like different lighting scenarios, with cloudy, harsh lighting, studio lighting, shaded areas, and they're very versatile presets. So if you guys have any questions, definitely comment or you can DM me uh, on Instagram. I'll put a link to my Instagram in the bio. And please, please, please go check out these presets on Filter Grade. They just went up today. And yeah, I'm super proud of them and I want you guys to be using them. And get to try them out so thank you for watching if you guys have any other suggestions just leave in the comments peace